Turning now to our other top story tonight. Those two horrific crashes, both involving semi trucks, shutting down two separate major highways in Metro Detroit for hours and injuring several people. Just after one this afternoon, a gravel hauler overturned on I-75, causing a mess on the southbound lanes near Schaefer and Fort. That while crews were still working to clear a crash involving a semi and two other vehicles along US 23 near Six Mile Road in Washtenaw County. That stretch back open at this hour. We were the first to break the story through your push alerts, notifying you of the crashes and the road closures. 7 Action News reporter Anu Prakash spoke to witnesses who rushed to help drivers. We're told that semi was going northbound here on US 23 when it collided with one vehicle, went through the guardrail and then hit another vehicle. We heard a loud crash and uh, lo lots of uh, screeching and, and, and lots of loud noises. Just by those sounds, Carl Karanen knew it had to be something bad. He and his co-workers work at Great Lakes Environmental Services right next to US 23 north of Territorial Road. It was pretty, pretty scary look and situation for sure. His cousin Josh Cleary was one of four people at the business who hopped the fence to help. It all happened around 1030 this morning. Michigan State Police say the driver of the semi told them he fell asleep at the wheel. That's when he hit a vehicle, went through the median guardrail, and then hit a vehicle that was going southbound. Cleary first went to the vehicle in the northbound lanes and saw a young man behind the wheel. We were able to open the door right away. We asked him if he's okay or and he said, yeah, he just, I just want to get out of here. And he basically climbed out on his own. Next to the other vehicle that was hit, Cleary says he saw the driver of that semi trying to help the woman behind the wheel. He was just doing the best that he could. He was doing everything, I think, in his power to just get the doors open for her. When Cleary got over there, he knew they all had to be very careful. She was breathing. Um, but we didn't want to touch her at all or move her at all. That woman was ultimately taken by life flight to U of M Hospital. I'm just praying to God that uh, that woman is okay. Michigan State Police say once their investigation is finished, they will send it over to the Washtenaw County Prosecutor's Office for potential charges. I'm Anu Prakash, 7 Action News. Thanks, Anu. And now to the other major crash that still has the southbound lanes of I-75 shut down. This is south of the Rouge River Bridge. A gravel hauler overturned, spilling rocks onto the road. It took crews more than 20 minutes to rescue the driver, but we are told he only suffered minor injuries. Chopper 7 is live over the scene right as crews work to clean up that mess. Police haven't said what led up to that crash, but the road is expected to remain closed for a few more hours. And if you'd like to find out how traffic is still being impacted through these areas, head to WXYZ.com.